Hello everybody, my name is Nick Sipnewski, and today I have a really cool product to show you, the Sega Homestar Classic. So what exactly is the Sega Homestar? Well, coming from the company Sega, you may think that this is a video game of some sort, but instead, this is actually a home planetarium system, all in that little sphere. So some quick history. This thing was released back in 2005, when Sega collaborated with this guy, didn't want to butcher his name, no clue how to say it. To create a home planetarium experience for people who weren't fortunate enough to simply look up at the night sky and see what it has to offer. This thing was mostly aimed at people living in large cities with vast amounts of light pollution. And while this product was only initially sold in Japan, it has seen a pretty popular uprising here in the US. And price-wise, the Sega Homestar comes in at a somewhat expensive $150, and that's just for this model. There is a newer model called the Sega Homestar Flux that retails for $229, but we'll save that one for another day. And if you're lucky, you can scour eBay and find one of these pre-owned for relatively cheap. And while the price does seem a bit crazy, it really does offer a unique experience that toy planetariums just can't compete with. And this is all thanks to the very simple yet very impressive technology that it has to offer. But before we get into that, let's talk about some of the features that this thing has. Right on the front, we have options for a timer, rotation, and shooting star mode. And then right above that, that's the tray where you're gonna load your media. There's no digital projection with this thing at all, actually. The Homestar works off of these small disks, which may not look like a lot, but this disk right here contains a whopping 60,000 plus stars. Quite impressive. Upon purchasing your Homestar, you'll receive two disks to start out, the plain star disk and the constellation star disk. Should you crave to up your collection, you can purchase additional disks online for many different retailers and even different brands, as there's a really good third party market for the Homestar. Okay, so without making you wait any longer, here's some footage of the Sega Homestar in action. So if there were to be any cons to this product, the only complaint that I'd really have is that the image can get a bit fuzzy on the edges, but for such a small projector, I don't really mind this. Considering that the Homestar can project up to a 270 centimeter radius, it can cover an average bedroom ceiling quite well. And the shooting star mode alone makes this thing worth it in my eyes. And don't let the camera quality turn you away. This thing actually looks much nicer in person than it does on camera. This is all pretty much because we have to shoot in complete darkness to show what this can do. But if we haven't completely sold you on the Homestar already, there are some less expensive models out there, such as the Homestar Light and the Homestar Aroma, which is just the smaller version with... Are you happy? Such as the Homestar Light and the Homestar Aroma, which is just the smaller version with an essential oil diffuser built in, a little extra, but... And even if this somehow is of no interest to you, but you still want to look up at a clear night sky, there is a Sega Homestar VR Planetarium app available for purchase on most every VR platform out there, which includes visuals almost as stunning as what we've shown you here. This is definitely one very unique creation by Sega here, and it's quite surprising to see how unpopular it is here in the US. Considering how much light pollution there is in larger cities, I personally find this to be a great solution for those looking for a clear night sky and just don't have the opportunity to look at it. So if you are interested in the Homestar, we'll leave a few links down below as to where you can purchase both the device and additional discs. And as far as that goes, that's all the time we have for in this video today. But don't leave just yet. 30 seconds of your time before you click away. I know everybody always asks this, but if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Or if you didn't, please let us know in the comment section how we can improve. And if you'd like, please consider subscribing. It greatly helps us out in the long run and it's sincerely appreciated. Sun Forest Films. Yeah, why well, don't you put any more out, right? Yeah. Not sponsored. Not sponsored. But 
If Sega wants to send me the Homestar Aroma, please do.